Have you ever been to a place so beautiful that it releases you into a different world, even if just for a few days? This peninsula at the south of Davao Oriental has been a secret for so long. But now, the secret is out. It's a menagerie now. I've had some time off. I've had time off with beer as well. Migo! Bundag! I hate pulling out of there when it's the morning. My engine's not warmed up. I've got to go really slowly in front of traffic. I hate doing that. When I pull out, I like to just go boom. <laughs> just be like, I'm not in your way, don't worry. <laughs> right, so today I'm heading down to a place called Lanka Beach. And that's on the back side of Governor Henoroso. Technically part of Mati, but it's a long way away from the center of Mati. So if you remember, there's a restaurant in Tagum I often go to, where I've had great pizza and all kinds of other stuff, in Kojo. So they also have a little resort on Lanka Beach and invited me to go there. So I said, okay, I can do that. The re whole reason I'm going that way is my old cameraman, who hasn't worked for me for a while, has a bit of work in Governor Henner also and invited me to go there as well. Let's see how it pans out. I have no idea, but be a fun little adventure. All the lights are green for me. It's a, it's a good day. As I started to say that, the red lights in front of me came into view. As always. See, I'm a good boy. I don't speed or get pulled over on the road leading out of Davao. No, I haven't been pulled over here, have I? I've been caught speeding in a few other places, though. I was going to say something serious and now I've uh, been amused by that very happy guy selling peanuts. Um, yeah, I, I was going to say I took a week off. I didn't take a week off. I, I think I had five days where I... No, one day I went to Agusan. One day I had off, amazingly. And two days I translated some stuff. Sideline world. Um... To be honest, I was tired and quite anxious and other things that I don't want to be going out making content during. Of course, I do all this by myself. I don't have editors. I don't have a producer. Imagine I had a producer. That would be nice. The world's changing right now and there's a lot of things going on. We're moving from one paradigm to the next, I feel. So I'm always confused. Okay, where does that take me with my content in the future? I came back to the answer I always come to, and it's what makes me happy and what gives me contentment in life. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. Don't know, I'm at the flyover now. I've run out of interesting things to say. When I've driven to Mati in the past, I like to stop in Banai Banai at Norberto's a garden restaurant in the rice fields. There he is, waiting, preparing the... Uh, it's like he's walking down a catwalk. Good. How about you? Good, man, good. He asked me what I wanted. I said, the coconut milk thing. <laughs> the coconut milk thing and some gulai. And there's something else as well. It all looks very good and there's random amounts of rice. Like six miniature rice. What's going on with the six miniature rice? Uh, I, I, I am thinking that you're still the answer that I know. But you're, you're in diet now, so it's okay. That's all good, that's all good. The more the merrier. Good food. Yes, I'm gonna eat. Gloomy. The 
weather's very imbecile matter. I like words like that because I can't translate into English. Heading towards Governor Henoroso, the weather got even worse. And this is at 2 p.m. Welcome to Governor Head of Osso, and you can see more out of that windscreen on the camera than I can out of the windscreen. Whenever I see people coming towards me here with headlights on, I know there's some really bad weather coming up. And I'm not going more than 60 through this. Hopefully it clears up for sunset, let's see. My destination for the night was 50 kilometers south. This here is Tibamban, which is some of the big boats go out from here. There's a lot of fish comes in here. Um, I'm gonna come back here tomorrow. There is absolutely no point trying to do anything right now. It's so wet. It's called Lanka, and let's hope the weather is a bit better there. But it seems to be clearing up. Uh, going to Barangay Lanka. Now, this part of the peninsula, for some reason, some historical anomaly that I don't know, someone might know, tell me if you do, belongs to Mati rather than Governor Henoroso. So, don't know why that is, it's not that important. But we're going to the other side of the peninsula, over, over the mountains, it seems. Never been here before. That was a much shorter trip than I imagined. Let's see if I can find the place. Ah, oh, it's right in front of me. What's that? Giant hairy thing. That giant hairy thing? It was in fact their bamboo and cotton grass entrance. I need a wider lens. I'm staying here all by myself and I was about to start singing again. Very, very nice. I like this, this tasteful design. This is a very cool CR. Open. It's cool. Very, very nice. I'm so exhausted. I've just spent the last. 15 minutes, just, ah. Almost forgot the best part. Look at this. Come evening, I'd heard good things about their food. Time to check out the restaurant. Right, this is the restaurant. The manager I saw earlier told me, prank them. Because I didn't prank them earlier. They were disappointed because I spoke Messiah. It, no, they were happy that I spoke Messiah. Disappointed I didn't prank them. Please, please, please. Okay, okay. Entertain, okay, sir. Oh my God. Hello, ma'am. Oh my God, sir. No spit, sir. I don't know <laughs> But I, I understand. Your English is good. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. But you know, what I problem I can go out of Opusaya. Hey, very good. Good for you, sir. Like French. Like scam co, scam co. So you going to scam a quantato? Oh, what will I have? I'm going to English again. Ah, Bisaya and Alanka. Are you going English? Here, dessert is served first. Yeah, they're as confused as I am. 
<laughs> we had a good laugh about that. And then the correct food did start coming out, and it looked delicious. I haven't done this for a while, have I? Sit down with food. So, these are all classics, but if you look at the colour of them, which isn't coming from the light, they look a bit different. Ooh. Very good, very good soup. Start with the soup. I'm very interested by this chicken. This is very unique. It has carrots on it. That's good, it's, I mean, it's almost glazed. It feels glazed, this, oh, that's really, really good. Can't beat a bit of lech and kawali. Mm. This South Samoan's really good. Like I said, it's all very regular Filipino food, but in fact done very, very well. These flavors really, really stand out for me. Really, really good, good flavors modern take on the classics. It's the best way. It reminds me of Budgie in London who said he's trying to champion Filipino cuisine, not elevate it. It's just, yeah, classic, classic, but extra things and my phone's calling me. I'm gonna sort out tomorrow and then we're gonna eat. Nope, no one's calling me. I'm feeling things. Tabby tabby po. Come on. Salamat ka ayo. Ah, gotta hide the boss. The boss doesn't want to be seen. We're hiding him, we're hiding him. You can't see him, he's behind the camera laughing. He doesn't want to be on the camera. He's, he's hiding, he's running away. You know, you'd call steak tender. What do you call a brownie that's like tender steak? In the texture, not in the flavor, that would be weird. And as night set in Lanka, I was definitely ready to pass out. I woke up at 5am the next day for sunrise, but... Yeah. It's 5am. Some days, you get a beautiful sun sunrise there. Today is not one of those days, so I'm gonna go back to bed for a while. They do say red sky in the morning is shepherd's warning, so no red sky in the morning means it should be good weather. I think that's how it works. Oi, Kulas, your favourite. After breakfast, I headed over to the GovGen site of this magnificently diverse peninsula. So that right in front of me is a smart tower. So the smart signal is fantastic, really strong. There's no globe signal though. Right, let's go back to the, the Governor Hanavoso site. Being near the tip of the peninsula already, I wanted to film Cape San Agustin, where the Pacific Ocean meets the Davao Gulf. Thing I love the most, the road just ends. It's marked all the way to the end and it just ends as if you're... camera was gonna be thrown up my hands then. So windy. I think the rain's coming. So I left as quickly as I arrived, which was a shame. I think I'm gonna get out of here rather than, I'm sure this looks very, very nice from the air, but it's way too windy for that and I'll probably bring the rain. That's the division between the Pacific and the Gulf of Davao. Nice, huh? <laughs> and the conditions to match. And so, I started a 50 kilometer trip north, towards the Poblacion of Governor Henoroso. You see that island there? 
that's where, where I want to go, but this weather is interesting. Let's see, it might clear up though. The weather had cleared up though by the time I reached the centre. Luggage. <laughs> where I was welcomed by none other than the mayor. Welcome to Governor Generoso. Uh, thank you, thank you. Now, I'm going to amigo. I'm going to They have their own term for that. Hi! Hello! Prampo for Bray. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Prampo for Hi! Hi! Hello, I'm going to tourism office. <laughs> this guy is Sir Joey and he's going to come with me and guide me around somewhere. I have no idea where. That's, that's for the best. Okay. Anywhere. 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 Very good. Okay, let's go. Sir Joey has been tourism officer here since 2017 and took great pride in showing me around his town. Don't know about you, but when I come to a place, I always see a photo of or something of that place that makes me think, oh, I like this. And then I know there's always much more to explore, which is what we're doing now. But this is the place where I knew originally the island, this road that goes right beside the beach, or the ocean, there's no beach, and the fish port, these big boats that go out and catch tuna, Lipan, Lip whatever else, out in the Pacific. And it's all right here, Barangay Montserrat. Montser Montserrat. And I learned that as well as the ocean, Governor Henoroso also has a strong relationship with its still forested highlands. No visa. You want to go to Oregon? No visa. Ah, Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. <laughs> no need no visa. You can also go to Boston. No visa. No visa. What's your double rental? Oriental. Double Oriental. The land of no visa required. Foreign places. Okay. I've driven past this multiple times and I didn't notice it. It's right beside the road. Centennial tree and one of, there's not many more like this. Hey, sure. Hey, what's up, bro? What's up? Hey! You're my amigo! Yeah! It's a long century, or do you get a eye on it? Do you get a bit more like a pillar? Ah, do you get a bit more like a pillar? It's almost 200 years old. Oh, you can take a eye on one. It's a mamakao tree or a native word, mamakao tree, but for the forester, it's called dao. 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 And that tree is symbolic of how the forest is protected here. Behind the coconut trees lies virgin forest in the buffer zone of Mount Hamagitan. What I like here is, just behind the highway is totally unlogged. So I found out this is the old, this is where the Americans first raised the flag. They raised it on this hill. So maybe that's why it's called Oregon. But uh, this this whole foresty area, they call it Tonga Tonga Falls. falls during rainy season, you can see the falls, but in dry season, no, you can see the falls. So it was Tonga. Tonga in terms of uh, rainy season, but dry season, no. Tonga, mm. Tonga Falls. Half of the time, nah, half of the time, voila. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. The Bisaya sense of humor is awesome. Ah, right, I, we're going somewhere else, I don't know where. We're on the Whistle Stop Tour, but I love the preservation of the, the forest here. My forays into the highlands were just brief this time but I could see how connected the people are with nature. We're right by the Hamagitan protected area and it really, really is. I mean, this, part, this, this place he's taking me to is just kind of an inland resort and it's really, I like the, the little tree houses and the rest and the designs. I mean, concrete's used gracefully, you know? It's done nicely. I like this kind of place. There's a lot of places that, that, that do inland resorts and are not grateful, graceful. With, but this one really cares about the surroundings and the environment. It uh, makes a big, big difference. Eh?
And with the sun setting, I needed a place to sleep. This guy's a really good guy, good tourism officer too. Uh, really cares about his job, I can tell. That's why I've got to say, if you come to GovGen, you want to go to places that aren't just the resorts, then come to the tourism office. They're really, really good. Simpler accommodation this time, but still white on the coast. What a view. Sacto, sacto. Actually, she said to me earlier, are you sure that's big enough for you? I don't care, I'm just gonna sleep here. And in the distance, my final destination for tomorrow morning. Across the water from the fishing communities of Dibamban, is Sigaboy Island. Long before, uh, gina ano lang nam namo ni ginalangoy ikan dito padulong diri sa isla. Pagab paglangoy may pagdayan pagubot diri maglamba lamba din sugba kilaw kaog saging kamote. Eh, relax kay wala pa mang kayo tao diri sa una gud mga 90s. Si mga year 1990. Wala happy ang mga tao. Pag daghagay gusda. Mo na ang kinabuhi diri sa una sa isla. Wala'y dako ng ekon Wala'y dako, wala. 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 wala? Wala'y mga dagko na mga boat. O di ilika ka kita sa una. Gagmay lang ang mga boat din eh. Para lang din sa mga mga, mga misda. Anong gagmay lang. Ano lang. Wala mm. sa mga dagko kay mga fishing vessels. Wala. So mm. happy lang. Normal lang mga traditional li living sa mga nabuhi sa mga tao sa unang panahon din. Di ba? Mm. So, then come in na nag pa na. Boom na siya. Nagdagdaghan ng mga entrepreneurs na nolod. So yan na. Ang tiban ban karo. na kayo. Mm. Mga boat na. Dagpo na kayo mga fishing vessels na naaroon dito. Sometimes I wonder to myself, why do some destinations become popular, but others that are equally beautiful not? One of those eternal questions, I guess. This place, it's very nice. So before I go back to Davao, driving past the Mount Hamagitan Sanctuary entrance, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, some really, really unique flora and fauna, fauna up there. Of course, this peninsula isn't just beaches, it's highlands too. And I think that's going to be the next part that I explore when I come back here soon, because up there, There's a lot of secrets here, no way. See you next time. Si komando da ot. Si komando da ot. I'm gonna vlog you. My vlog good. My vlog good. My vlog good. They're vlogging me. Okay. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Si komando da ot. Marunong din siya magbisaya like uh, Say big magbisaya uh, Ano nationality mo? British girl Ay British British oh. or British girl uh, He's from London Yeah London Wait, She's falling down <laughs> <laughs> Okay Thank you 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 Bye bye ah, Everyone <laughs> I like people Hello <laughs> They've also learnt my name from somewhere <laughs>